Hey everyone, welcome back to what might be one of the final few episodes of Kingdoms and Castles, depending on how far we make it in this episode. So, looks like there's quite a few citizens either dying or leaving, so that's kind of troublesome, but the current food supply is dropping, so I need to do something about that before I host a festival because if I can't have a sustainable food supply then there's no point in expanding but I do believe that last episode um, I did kind of figure out that there's a resistance point at a certain number of uh, food where the storage sort of blocks off and makes it kind of difficult to maintain higher numbers of food supply. So in the meantime, let's add a couple more orchards just to sort of test this theory out and see if it stands. So, there's a little bit of clearing I need to do, but not too much. And thankfully, once all this is cleared out, um, there should be a little bit of a better uh, food supply, but we'll have to see for sure. So, no telling yet. Oh, money. Gotta get more money. But, it does seem as if that amount's increasing, but... A lot of it's being lost to exposure. The bakeries are kind of helping out and adding a little bit extra here and there. Um, but there's still just a lot being lost to exposure. So, which is a bit troublesome. But I wonder if I can just expand with bakeries and just have a ton of them there and see what happens. That might end up being sort of a last resort kind of ordeal. Because there's definitely enough food being produced. But I wonder if it's just that... Because these are all full. And... If I build houses down here instead, like, you know, kind of migrate them over here gradually, I'll probably start grabbing food from these storage silos and dragging them down to the other area. So, let's find out what happens if we host a single festival. This might turn out to be an extremely bad idea, but... Oh, there's a plague. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. So, that may have been one of the worst timing plagues, I think, ever. Like, as soon as we decide to host a festival, why not just, uh... Drop in a plague... So, we're going to lower tax rate just a little bit to make life more bearable for our citizens because it's so terrible here with all the taxation going on. Robert Lynch has died of old age. What an unfortunate last name. So, there definitely is still a distribution problem. How annoying. Hmm. 
I wonder if it has to do with just... There's just, I wonder if there's just too many, um, uh, granaries and they're not like, just dis like distributing it properly. They're just like holding on to it. So I'm going to remove some of the granaries and then see what happens. Is that in range of a, yes, it definitely is. So it's a little risky, but. We'll have to see if that will help with the uh, total supply. So it would be nice if the docks would get over flooded with food. So that way, I think we're going to lose all that food there to exposure probably. No, nope, they're stacking it up onto here. So, even with the population influx, we have a positive uh, net food, but there's still a ton being lost from exposure. 863 in total. And that may have been because of what I did here, but that's yet to be discovered, I guess. Or confirmed. I wonder why that's happening, why they're grabbing it from all the way over here, rather than... I mean, there's a greenery here, which that has plenty of food. I'm gonna replace this orchard with a greenery instead. Because there's obviously... No decent place for um, the villagers to get their food from. It's like there's um, just sort of like, I don't know. Like there's not enough storage, I guess, like a nearby storage areas and facilities to properly like distribute all the, uh, the goodies. So I wonder if that's kind of what's causing it. We've got a ton of greeneries over here, which is helping with this stuff but that runs out really fast in fact all of these seem to run out fast so that makes me wonder if, uh, if I increase this area with more granaries in particular right there if that'll help out just a little bit so we're gonna try to focus on adding more granaries rather than actually um, increasing the population just to make sure that we can have enough people that don't starve to death because citizens not starving is very important to have in the long run which might seem like an obvious statement but you know it should be said at least once which it's actually really strange that there's that much starvation going on all things considered but the food supply is sort of off and on each year, and there's really no telling what direction it's actually going, if it's going up or going down, but we'll soon figure out which way it is going. So, it seems like that giving one tax per year, oh come on. Taverns are too crowded. We already have way too many taverns. I think I need to get rid of all these granaries here. I think this is part of the problem. And relocate them up closer to the... Um... I think what I was thinking when I built those was that if I have more granaries down there, we won't lose it to exposure. But I think this is just more of an obstacle because there's like not enough places for them to put it. So I'm going to try removing, as soon as winter goes away, I'm going to remove three of those granaries. And then we're going to place, actually we're just going to remove three of those granaries and call it good. So there's going to be a lot of rush down there to fix that mess. Yeah, 
Yeah, those are way too close to each other. Because he's not going to collect all the food that he needs to pick up. Neither is this one. Just not enough food. <sighs> Let's do... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to lose a lot of that, uh, that food down there to exposure. But... That may be for the best. In fact, I'm going to start adding a lot of more, a lot more granaries over here. So that way... These granaries actually have a place to store their stuff, because I'm, I'm willing to bet all these get full by the end of winter when these collect. And then the citizens go and collect them, and then these granaries are now empty. When they could have more food in them. Because all of these granaries up here are empty, so there's just not enough food being stored in them. So we're actually going to make it so none of these distribution centers are storing food. And we're going to... Okay, so apparently there's a, a dock that has its path blocked. I wonder if it's this one. Well, let's see. It's got... It's at Dock Noda, I think. Let's find out. It's at Babolo, Bablado. So we should be going to Dock Noda, which is next to it. I don't know why you're struggling with that. Maybe it's... Okay, so I guess it's actually at Dock Noda. So that means it can't get to uh, Eilinger. So let's just try clearing some space here and see if... Yeah, okay, so yeah, that was blocking its uh, path. So let's try that again, but right here. And right here. We'll add more granaries. Which is kind of weird to think, because you would think that these would handle it, but I guess not. So that's a little interesting. That was my phone. I had it on my lap, and I guess it just sort of fell. Um, I'll try to, I'll do my best to like, get rid of that audio, but we'll see. Because that, that kind of audio is really hard to get rid of. <laughs> That's a waste of space. We can have a, a big grain ring right there. That'll do, do most of the work right there. I wonder if I can expand these orchards into here. No, not really. It's barren land. So I might need to... Let's see. I'm pretty sure I don't need to harvest any more stone just because of how we're managing the other uh, stone piles. So I might just get rid of that giant chunk of stone there. Gosh, it's like they're like right next to each other, but you know, you can't just chop down all of them. You have to like end up canceling a couple of them and like make it more inconvenient for yourself. Why would you want to have it like any easier than it actually is? Like seriously. Hmm. That's a problem. Let's see. And that's causing a lot of people not to be happy.
it wasn't for all that exposure um, loss, I think I would, there'd be like a lot less, you know, problems, but like, <sighs> see, they're, they're causing more problems for themselves because they're running back and forth and taking from here and then going back when the, the ships are supposed to be doing that. Hmm. So, all right, let's uh, get rid of this here and replace it with a reservoir. And we'll get rid of these two spots here and add fountains. And then we're gonna just plant a bunch of orchards over here instead. So that'll do something, I think. <sighs> that was a little bit of a better year, I guess, but Still not good enough. If they would only just let the... the boats do most of the work, then... You know, I'm gonna lock this so they can only... Yeah, so they can only drop it off. They can't pick any of it up. There we go. That'll, I actually should have done that a long time ago. In fact, I'm going to do that for all of these. I'm tired of them, like... So if they would just be patient, then they would end up with mass heaps amount over here. But no... See, we have these giant full ships now, and I'll be able to drop off all their stuff and, you know, allow for better pickup ratios, but no, they weren't allowing that to happen previously. So now they should want to start. Okay, that dude is like about to die. That's not good. Might be the first starvation death. Hmm. Interesting. Nope, there he goes. Okay, cool. Alright, well. That definitely is helping out because now they can actually transport the food, you know, when they're not blocking each other at the ports hmm that probably actually just solved a lot of my problems right there so taverns apparently are also an issue so we're just going to add a couple more just here and there because why not because apparently they're too crowded for some reason It's not my fault. It's their fault. Because all of them just want to get wasted instead of actually dealing with their problems. Get some jobs. Well, at least we're creating jobs by doing this. So, I mean, I guess, you know, we're kind of fixing a problem. That really didn't need to be fixed, but okay. Cool, whatever. Is that helping? Okay, yeah, because now we're at plus 44. And the exposure is now down from 900 to 600. So. It's definitely helping. Having them drop it off over here. 
and it looks like the granaries are actually starting to get a little bit of a stockpile in some of them so that's kind of good and yeah that's it's it's all right not bad not bad at all um yeah i'm gonna get rid of that and replace that with a baker um and i'm gonna get rid of these because these are not worth the, their trouble that they're causing. Because no one's getting from them. Like, they're just sitting there idle. So instead, we're going to be putting a granary right here. And... Let's clear out this orchard right here. And replace it with a granary. Just like that one there. More more storage space. And another granary right here. What are you talking about? We can just get past this food shortage, shortage then everything's going to be good. But until then, we got to worry about a food shortage. So. Can I sell you stuff? I want to sell you stuff. I'm going to sell... You uh, 380 of my weapons. Now scram. And stop taxing. Hmm. They're still running across the river, but why? Because they can't, they can't pick up from here anymore. So... Is there really that much of a need for it? Okay, there is some serious distribution line problems, apparently. That's great. So I'm gonna build a stockpile right... Um, actually I'm gonna build a bunch of little ones along here because apparently uh, there is um, not enough resources floating around because some of the villagers are getting their wood from all the way over here and bringing it all the way over there and that's a problem so they're still having problems with food like Come on. At least the exposure number is going down quite a bit. But there's still just not enough being stored. Okay, I think it's time for me to fill up these um, areas here with orchards. Because people are starving and I'm doing nothing about it. If they start talking bourgeoisie, then I'm going to need to seriously start cutting heads off. I 
And then we're just gonna throw some wells just along here, because why not? All right. That might help a little bit, but probably not a lot. It should provide actually 150, 150, around 275, 225, uh, no, 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 425 ish for total food. It's about one granary. So, that, yeah, that's going to help quite a bit. And I think I'm going to need to bridge a connection here because they're starting to run across. So I'm going to do that there. And I may as well just fill this with orchards or whatever I can, I guess. And then some farms because why not? And, uh, you know, I'm just going to remove that there. I mean, there's really no point in keeping it because I'm just working around it. And we have 12,000 stone. It is the most abundant resource that we have. So, I mean, I think I'm just better off cutting, uh, cutting it off there and calling it good. There's just still not enough, like, no matter how much we try to, like, put in there. Oh, shoot, that's another problem there. So, I'm gonna build some piers. Right here in particular. And do some, uh, silos, so that way some, there's better storage in the area. And those farms don't lose all their, uh, production. How is it even worse? Like, come on. This is like the only area I think that's actually having trouble with food. It's just down here. And it might just be because they're the furthest area, like, away from all the granaries and whatnot. So they may not have easy access to it. That's probably what it is, actually. It's just they don't have access to any close-by greeneries. It's probably by the time that um, things actually get sorted out, they're all empty. Okay, so apparently all the nearby stockpiles are now full of junk, and they can't drop off anything. So... Yeah, because they aren't dropping the food off by the looks of it. Which is weird. Um, fine, we'll just turn that to 200, I guess, and see what happens. And uh, I'm going to add some stockpiles around here. Hey, that's not the problem. The problem is the stone is just taking up way too much space. So... Um, I don't know. I don't know how to, like, deal with this. I'm trying to think of, like, a way out. I'm gonna fill this area up over here with piers and we're going to build a lot of stockpiles to help deal with this situation. We're going to do a road right down here and stockpiles. And we'll be able to use all that stone from here too. To like just quickly build it too. So that's like perfect. And now they can finally start putting food down there. Then we can actually start feeding our villagers. 
So that kind of worked. And then we'll do greeneries over here. Just to help a little bit, I guess. Huh. What if I did, uh, I'm trying to think, I could do like a, I guess I could do like a, a merchant dock here and a merchant dock over here and then just have it transport back and forth and that would help out quite a bit. But, not yet, not yet. All right. All right, there's definitely more progress being made here. I wonder if that blocks the uh, the ship's access. Nope, they're good. So then we're just gonna do roads spanning this way like that. You're gonna need more piers. And then stockpiles. No, nope, big ones. So that way they can hold stone. And that'll be really good to have there. So. Cool. A lot of food problems are being solved, finally, I think, I hope. So more people are currently dying than we're gaining per year. That's not good. So I might need to host another festival. And food is kind of being pushed around, I hope, but there's really no telling. At least these farms have a place to put their food, so that way when time does come, we don't lose any to shortages. And... There's still problems popping up occasionally, though, and I'm not quite sure why. There's got to be an area somewhere. Oh, right there. Nope, oh, that's our old plague victims. Okay. There's got to be like an area somewhere around here where food is still a problem. Oh, wow. That's, that's not good. That is not good. Okay. Looks like they got most of them. So the food shortage is still a problem. <sighs> and there's no visible way to end it right now. Where is that at? Small greenery. Where? Oh, okay, right there. I'm just... I don't understand... Like, I, I gotta figure out where the main problem is for, like, the distribution lines, because... There's obviously a problem between up here and down there, just obviously, but... I'm going to fill this area up here with more orchards, just so that way I can get the granaries kind of around the area filled up. Oh, 
Although there's no way to get water over here easily. It's all kind of barren. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna do um, a granary right here, just a bunch of them. And then I'm going to do a dock here. And then a dock all the way over here. Let's see. I'm going to clear a spot out right here for it. the well aside and put it right there and then we need to push roads down to at least here perfect and transport ship will be right there but you know dock first and transport ship So, now we're going to go all the way over here to this dock here where they're still trying to build it. Huh, because apparently wood is a rare resource in this area, even though there should be a lot of it up here. So, yeah, those two got completed pretty quickly. So we're going to make everything over here zero, except for food, which we're going to make actually 500. We're going to lock that. And that's Lanch, 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 Lanch. And this is Zoic or whatever. All of these are going to be zero. And no foreign merchants. And no foreign merchants. This is going to go from Lanch to Zoic. And it's going to pick up 200 food. And it's going to drop off 200 food. And there we go. That'll um that'll solve everything right there. Any more boats probably though. Because now we're gonna have a lot of food being stored here and being shipped across the seas all the way over here. So Definitely one of the longer uh, voyages for boats to make, but it will definitely, 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 definitely help with the food shortage. So, once we get that done, we're going to see how well that works because we're at 35 now per year. It's definitely a better... Uh, Minus 222 from shipping. I wonder if that's just from it taking too long, or if, uh, ex if they're losing it to exposure or what. I'm definitely a little curious as to how much I'm actually losing, but we're we're gonna we're gonna see pretty soon. All right. So you are going to pause and I want you to make sure that you're picking up your stuff before you actually um, leave so I want you to pick up 200 food I want you to drop off 200 and you're gonna do that and go
So that should help a lot with the area over here. It's going to take a little bit, but that's definitely going to cause this entire area to be filled a lot, like just filled up with a lot more uh, food, just in general. So that'll definitely be nice. Yeah, because this already has a full stock of, or nearly full stock of food. So then when those ships are coming back, they'll be able to uh, provide pretty much all the food needed. So I might need to make more boats though, making the trip just because of shortages. But that is definitely helping because they're starting to put food in the granaries for later usage. So I really can't complain about that. But wells are going to be needed like right now because that is a high fire area. So. Yeah, because they're just now making it back to get more food over there. So I think more boats are definitely going to be needed. But look at that, we're at plus 400. Exposure is now down to late 400s. There's a whale in the water over there. That's kind of cool. So, and the granaries over here actually have a little bit of stock. And they're still starving. Oh, because that isn't built yet. Okay. Oh no, it is built. I just have it open. So, even though that there's a little bit more food in the system, they're still starving, so that's great. Oh, finally more transport. Okay. Let's get this guy done. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And we're gonna do this as quick as possible. Two hundred and two hundred. Even though you're paused, okay, fine, just leave, whatever. And now you can go. But I guess it doesn't matter because you already left, buddy. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, that just happened. But we do have three ships now transporting food in between these. So that is quite a bit of food, actually. And the food shortage, I think, is officially now ending because of that. Cool. Definitely cool. Oh boy. And it's back. That's great. So, at least we have three ships now that are going back and forth to provide constant food to the area. So, I don't know if that's enough, though, to keep the entire area stocked. But it's definitely enough to at least keep some food in the granaries for later usage. So... And alongside with these orchards, quickly filling up these granaries. Um, only the citizens who really need to should be accessing these ones, like in this area in particular. So, that should definitely help out. Yeah, because all these ones are starting to get a little bit of uh, food ready to go for later. Which is always good. And we're losing a lot less to shipping, but exposure is a little up but we're still gaining quite a bit more food. So, there we go. Looks like a lot of problems are slowly dwindling. Although, there is still the need to expand to 5,000. And with the room that we have left, I don't know if that's going to be possible. But we'll find out, and we'll find a way to do it. Thank you for tuning into this episode. Let's, uh, let's get 
this this episode's screenshot. Oh my god, there's more death going on. Come on guys, make it right. Let's get the uh, the orchards for once, because we haven't done a screenshot of the orchards ever. Oh, come on. I want the mouse out of the way, not... God, this is kind of aggravating. There we go. Alrighty. There we go. Everything's good to go. Kind of. We still have these guys over here that are struggling with food, which is annoying. Because there actually is a little bit of food for them to grab. It may not be enough for their family, but it is still food. If only these transport ships could hold more. Because so I think I remember seeing that the limit was 200. So. If only. If only. But, on the bright side, there most definitely is an improvement with the total number of starving people that are no longer there. Because now we're at the point where the food shortage is now fighting itself. So that's good. Well, anyways, thank you for tuning in, and be ready for next episode.